Wow, it's so strange to think that just a few days ago I was in this exact same spot at this exact same moment waiting for my life to really start. And in just a few short days, my life hasn't just started, it's exploded. I had my sweet 16, managed to win over the heart and brain of my super awesome crush, Derek, got my first kiss, started my own web series. Oh, and did I mention I went to Africa? I guess you could say that my existence has officially been epic for the past two weeks. Today's my first day back in school after my trip, which means my first chance to see Derek since I've been gone. I'm totally hoping for an earth-shattering reunion, but flowers will be an acceptable second, which means I have to look my best. Good morning. You look adorable. Well, you know, it's the first day back, and you know what they say about first day impressions. Oh, I do. Honey, I gotta go, but knock them dead, okay? Okay. Mwah. Okay. Right. Peace and quiet for five minutes before school starts. Nice. Hey, Gus. Hey, do not touch the hair. Hey, you guys are like low on food. That's because you ate it all. Yeah, you guys seriously need to get that straight. I repeat myself, because you ate it all. Okay, well, um, do you need to ride to school? Sure. <laughs> Sweet. We should like totally pick up Daisy, you know. Carpooling is so environmentally friendly. I see your ulterior motives. What? No motives, just a cousin trying to help out another cousin and her friend while Simultaneously, trying to save the planet. Okay, then we should pick up Debbie too. <laughs> Debbie? No. Like, she's way out of my way, and I, I don't have gas for Chillax. that. Relax, I'm just pulling your chain. I will call Daisy right now, okay? Yes. You're the best, cuz. Hey, don't touch the hair. Ready, Mia? I guess. Hey, have you seen Debbie? No, not since two days ago. I wonder where she is. What? Wait, what's going on? Nothing. So this was it. My first day back from my trip in Africa. I wonder how much school had changed while I was gone. Hmm, the skaters are still here. And the super hard study group is still here. And the goth is alive and well. To speak. Jocks, check. Unfortunately, that means the cheerleaders are still here. Oh well. Oh, and how could I forget about the tag team? Talented and gifted. More like awkward and nerdy. Holy, what the? Did they just smile at me? Surprise! Welcome home, Dee. I wanted this to be a surprise. Well, mission accomplished. I'm surprised. What's going on? Okay, I have to confess. Remember how I told you I thought you could use this for extra credit? Well, after I uploaded the Swibbit Zone online, I sent a copy to Ms. Moore. She thought it was so good. She's been running it on the school announcements every day. What? It's been huge. Diamond, hi. Uh, hi, Ms. Moore. I love the Swibbit Zone. So do all the teachers here at Maven. In fact, I'd like to talk to you if you have a minute. Sure. Great, why don't we go into my office? Okay. First off, welcome back. Thanks. So I have to ask, is the Swift Zone going to be a regular thing? I'd like to hope so. Excellent, I was hoping you'd say that. I've spoken to the school board and they love the fact that you're reaching such a broad audience and not only entertaining, but educating as well. I am? Yes, you are. I'd like to make you a deal, Diamond. What sort of deal? I pulled your file, and I noticed that you're a gen pop student. A gen what? General population. It means you're with everyone else. Do you know about the tag team? Oh, no, 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 no. She had better not be going where I think she's going with this. Uh, yeah, I think I've seen them around. Why? Well... Based on your national test results and the scores from previous tests that are in your file... My national test? Didn't you get the results in the mail? Hmm. Anyway, 
I'd like to streamline you into the tag team and have you produce the Swivet Zone videos as part of your educational curriculum. I'm sorry, what do you mean? Streamline me? Like, take me out of my other classes and away from all my friends and make me a social outcast? I don't think that's quite the way I'd put it. I think you'd find yourself really challenged in tag. I'll keep making Swivet Zone, but there's no way that I'm joining tag. I'm finally living the high school life that I've always wanted, and tag as well, the social kiss of death. I'm really sorry to hear you say that. I was hoping you'd be the one to help me break that stereotype down. What with your incredible talents and intelligence, as well as your charisma, I thought you'd be the perfect ambassador for the next generation. Look, no decisions today. Just think about it. I'll think about it, but no promises. Thank you. <sighs> well, she wants me to join TAG. No, the geeks. I know, right? Kiss of death. OMG, you guys are so shallow sometimes. Sure, they're not popular and they're a little odd, but seriously, do you have to be so harsh? Being smart is not a bad thing. It's a ticket to a lot of really amazing things in life and not everybody gets that ticket. So maybe you should think before you speak next time. Hey, Diamond. Hey, you know my name. You know, I love to interview. Look, Diamond, enjoy your little brush of popularity while you have it, but don't get too used to it. There's room for only one queen bee in this school and it's me. Hey Derek, how are you? Hey Myra, I didn't know you and Diamond knew each other. Oh, we go way back. <laughs> but look, I've gotta run. We're still on for Friday, right? Yeah. My math is so bad. Good thing you're so smart. She's being nice today. Well, welcome back. Hey. I was gonna say we can get together on Friday, but it looks like my schedule just filled up. Saturday, Sunday, I'm free every day after three. Nah, no, look, let's just talk later in the week and we can reschedule the interview then, okay? Okay. OMG, what just happened? The man of my dreams just totally blew me off for literally the meanest girl on the planet. What's a girl to do?